active and passive in grammar the voice of a verb describes its relationship with the subject object or any other element in a sentence the verb can be in the active voice or in the passive voice look at these sentences in all these sentences the same messages are given in two different ways that is first in the active voice and then in the passive voice without changing the meaning or the tense when the subject is the doer of the action the verb is in the active voice when the subject is the receiver of the action the verb is said to be in the passive voice a simple sentence in active voice has the following pattern subject doing the action plus verb plus object receiving the action for example arushi teaches rahul a simple sentence in passive voice has the following pattern subject receiving the action plus b plus past participle of verb plus by plus object doing the action for example rahul is taught by arushi in passive form a transitive verb is made up of the verb be with a past participle usually the preposition by introduces the passive object in a sentence remember this the object of the active verb becomes the subject of the passive verb for example a doctor prescribes medicines medicines are prescribed by a doctor